the TGA has approved uh, the use of Pfizer as a COVID-19 booster for uh, Australians 18 plus. Uh, this is an important step and uh, it will mean uh, that Australia will be one of the most highly vaccinated societies in the world, one of the most recently vaccinated communities in the world and one of the first to receive a whole of population booster program. Uh, in particular, and John will go in, in more detail to both the uh, decision and the processes, the TDA has approved Pfizer as an 18 plus booster. Um, and very importantly, and Professor Murphy, Professor Kelly, Professor Skerritt, uh, Atagi and others have been at pains to point out that this is about additional protection and that you remain fully vaccinated with two vaccines. Uh, the next step is that ATAGI, uh, the Australian Technical Advisory Group on Immunisation, uh, will provide final advice. They have been working on an interim basis with the, uh, the TGA. Uh, but subject to uh, that ATAGI final advice, uh, we intend to commence the general population booster program no later than the 8th of November. And uh, we have the supplies. Uh, we have the distribution mechanisms. Uh, we'll just work with the, uh, the states, the GPs, the pharmacies, the Commonwealth vaccination clinics and the Indigenous uh, vaccination clinics uh, to ensure everything's in place. Uh, and uh, we will commence uh, aged care and disability as a priority. This morning I had a very uh, constructive conversation with my Victorian counterpart, the uh, State Health Minister Martin Foley, and uh, Victoria, which of course has the uh, most significant current outbreak will uh, be looking to uh, commence their aged care and disability support uh, booster for those that are six months plus um, since they've had their second dose uh, in the imminent future. So um, that's very constructive and I thank them for, for that. Uh, and then finally, as I say, it's a universal booster and so it's uh, available for people who've had uh, Pfizer, AstraZeneca or Moderna, uh, although it's uh, nobody who has had a second dose of Moderna would yet qualify as that's been more recent. But as people come to the six month plus time frame since their second yeah. dose, uh, Pfizer will be available. John will uh, set out other regulatory applications which are pending from different companies. Uh, then in terms of international travel, uh, the Prime Minister has uh, indicated that uh, I've signed off on the biosecurity declaration order, which means one very simple thing. From the 1st of November, double vaxxed Australians will be able to leave the country and return to the country. And uh, so fully vaccinated Australians will not require an exemption to depart Australia from the uh, 1st of November. This is the first stage of our international reopening. Um, subsequently, we'll have a second stage focusing on students and uh, uh, critical workers. Um, we're also looking, as the Prime Minister ind has indicated, at uh, early arrangements with Singapore. And uh, then we'll look at uh, general travel uh, for tourism and other purposes for people entering the, uh, entering the country.